You're about to watch a live stream from our Facebook group. It's a club where we pretty much just talk about board games all day long. Usually I'll live stream at least once a day and everyone's invited. It's free, obviously. So if you're interested in coming to hang out with us, click the link in the description below. Hope to see you there. Hey, hope you could hear me okay. Uh, it stopped raining finally and it seems a little nice out. So I figured I'd take a little walk. And in the meantime, I thought I would just stream uh, sort of about the topic this morning about how uh, board gaming has changed in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and now. It's a little windy, so sorry if it's hard to hear me. I'll try to speak closer. Um, but thinking about when I was playing games in like the 80s and early 90s when I was a kid, um, I remember Dragon Quest, I think, or, or Hero Quest. One of them was uh, one of the first ones that I did. And I remember just playing with my brother, Michael, and my mom, and just forcing her to play like Dungeons and Dragons kind of game. And of course, she didn't give a shit. Um, you know, she was she was good. She she did it, but you know, it's not like she exactly wanted to. I'm gonna hang out here where it's a little a little less windy. Ugh, bad lighting though. All right, how about here? Much better. Um, not better lighting, but better that you can't see so much of my face in this lighting. I'll just keep walking. Um, and then um, I'd say maybe like 95 or so. There was like a little break. And then uh, I got back into it with other board games. But, um, oops, hey guys. Some of the other things. Um, oop, sorry. <laughs> Crazy people here. It's a little hard to hear. But uh, Magic the Gathering was the big one. I would play that for a few years. And uh, Dungeons and Dragons. And it was kind of a break for about, say about five or six years, pretty much all throughout college. Didn't really hang out, uh, you know, I was at college and none of my college friends played any of this stuff. And then I guess uh, it's my roommate Dave, he started buying a bunch of games, like Last Night on Earth and different zombie games. This is uh, before the zombie craze. We had gotten into zombies pretty much from our friend Mike Drew. And then later on, I uh, just started getting more and more games, and it started becoming more popular, and uh, now it's pretty pretty common. So it's exciting, it's fun, I'm glad more people are playing games, because, I don't know, it's more fun to play games than to just look down at your phone. So if anyone else wants to uh, let me know what your board gaming career, so to speak, is like, uh, feel free to comment or live stream. By the way, anyone can live stream at any point talk about whatever. What's up, James? What's up, Shannon? I just saw some people hopped in. Uh, anybody could post about whatever they want, you know, pertaining to board games, and I hope to see your stuff. All right.